Malawi's health sector is highly donor dependent, with 55% of funding from donors and only 24% from the government. This fragmentation, with 166 financing sources and 264 implementing partners, creates inefficiencies and challenges for the government in prioritizing universal health coverage. Consequently, better aid coordination is essential for improved health outcomes. The Malawian government is committed to providing a healthy benefits package to all citizens. In Malawi's decentralized context, district health management teams lead the planning, management, and delivery of health care. UNICEF and CHAI are supporting the government to enhance evidence-based planning and leadership, empowering districts to coordinate partners and optimize resources for improved health care delivery. CHAI has been supporting us for, for over uh, the past years uh, to come up with um, uh, district implementation plans. This is a, basically a document that is supposed to be produced at the beginning of the financial year uh, that usually guides our operation and implementation of activities uh, that contribute towards the overall goal that we have as a, as a district health office. Coming in uh, of this support from CHAI to coordinate, to help us uh, in the planning, has allowed us also to, uh, to coordinate all the players and the stakeholders that are that actually contributes towards the health services delivery in the district. The evidence-based approach to planning means that we have to have a way of incorporating the current situation on the ground. Where are we in terms of the delivery of uh, essential health services? Are we achieving what we wanted to achieve? And in areas where essential health services, we are not meeting the desired targets and achieving the desired results, we had to go through a process of identifying the key bottlenecks to service delivery. To strengthen district health systems, UNICEF and CHAI have supported the Ministry of Health and selected district health management teams to build capacity in evidence-based planning and leadership. This is aimed at empowering districts to effectively coordinate their partners and help maximize the use of scarce resources for improved delivery of health services to the population of Malawi. Health management team uh, training program. Its aim is to ensure that we improve leadership and management uh, capacities at that level so that they can effectively plan and also manage, manage resources, be it human resources, uh, finances, information and, and physical resources. When new doctors come in, new nurses that are trained, we want them to come to Staff Development Institute so that it becomes part of our induction program for um, health managers so that as soon as they graduate from their colleges, from their universities, they come straight to Staff Development Institute, do their two, three weeks training in leadership and managerial um, leadership and management, and then they come back to now join the rest of the teams.